it's a website that looks almost identical to uh, the official one, but you put in your information and it's not right and they, and they take your information from you. A phishing scam is when someone sends you an email from something that you think is a legitimate company and they try to get you to click on something or send something or... They try to get your social security number to try and open bank accounts with your numbers and your information and it's essentially a financial scam. It's PH, right? P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. I had a personal situation a couple of years ago where someone bought some large uh, appliances and other expensive purchases in Walmart and a few other stores like that using my credit card information. I have no idea how they got it. And they had these items sent to my house um, in the hopes that I wouldn't be home. And then when the packages were delivered, they came and picked them up and drove away with them. I ended up having to go to the police and report it, and gave all the information, and uh, it has stopped happening since it was reported, but it was kind of scary. Like, there are games like uh, Team Fortress 2 and uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive where they have, a, they have a huge online market. There are a lot of people who want to uh, scam you, whether it be phishing or uh, through different methods. From online shopping, my credit card number has been compromised. Luckily, I had a good credit card company that recognized it right away, and then they alerted me to it, so I had none of the money ever left my account. But I had to get a new card, I had to change all my passwords. So to know that I just, like, probably was buying a present for my nephews or something and someone was getting into my personal information, that's, that's crazy. Especially senior citizens are very susceptible to this uh, telephone questions where they start asking you for your social security and things like that. Just be careful and know who you're dealing with. And when something sounds really good, uh, ask yourself, is it really this good? If it seems, number one, too good to be true, it probably is. If it doesn't seem legitimate, it probably isn't. Just like reading a website's name is, is so important, just to be aware of who's sending you this email, how do they get your email address, like why why you? I think it would help just being more informed about the topics and knowing what to look for, what red flags to look out for, so I think that would definitely help. It's way more than someone just reading your diary. They're, they're stealing facts about your life and using it against you. Do you know what a phishing scam is? Yes. You do? What is it? I don't know. Take your best guess.